you dolls and gents, I'm coming back to you guys with a new makeup tutorial and I wanted to do something bright and fun for summer. A lot of y'all have been getting on me about me doing these neutral and smoky looks. You want to see more bright looks. So that's what I have for you today. I did a matte orange on the lid, winged liner. I put a little bit of a teal blue underneath the bottom lash line and I wanted the cheeks and the lips to be a nice coral orange color so I hope that you all enjoy this makeup tutorial a majority of the products that I use to create this look are from Sedona Lace. All the makeup brushes that I use are from Sedona Lace. I will link all the products that I use in the description box down below. I also use several of their makeup palettes, so I will link those in the description box down below as well. They have really affordable makeup products, and I know a lot of you have their makeup brushes and their palettes, so go ahead, check the description box for all the products that I use. If you have them, pull it out, and let's go ahead and get into this makeup tutorial. Let's get into this makeup tutorial. I'm first gonna start off by priming my face. I know completely different for me because I normally do my brows first, but I've been doing foundation first lately. So we're priming the skin with the Corez Greek Yogurt Nourishing Primer, and we're gonna let this sit on the skin for five minutes, then we'll apply the foundation. I wanted a really matte foundation today, so I'm using my Sedona Lace Synthetic Flat Top Brush along with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Coco. And this foundation is really great. And I love this brush for applying this foundation. It goes on so smooth, so flawless. Love it. Now it's time to get those brows on fleek. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Dark Brown Brunette. I'm outlining my eyebrows and I'll lightly fill them in, kind of avoiding the front of the brow. I want it to have more of a gradient effect to look more natural. Now you could leave your brows like that, but I like to go over it with a powder. So I'm using my Sedona Lace Brow Spoolie Duo and my Anastasia Eyeshadow in Smoke. It's just a nice, cool tone, dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm focusing this on the outer mm, five, six of my brows. I like estimated a freaking fraction there, but you get what I'm doing and saying. And then I'll put a lighter color on the front of the brow, but you'll see that in just a moment. Now I'm taking the same brow spoolie and my MAC eyeshadow in Espresso. It's a lighter brown but still cool tone and I'm applying it to the front portion of my eyebrow to give it a more natural look. Now it's time to carve out those brows. I'm using my Sedona Lace Concealer Brush and one of the concealers from their 20 Color Camouflage Concealer Palette. And I'm just lightly going underneath my brow and I'll blend it in to make it look highlighted and flawless, of course. Now it's time to get into this colorful eyeshadow. I'm using the Sedona Lee Stick It To Em Eyeshadow Primer, and this is just gonna prime my eyelids and prep it for the eyeshadow that we apply in just a moment. Since we're using really bright colors, I really wanted to make sure that I used a great primer to really pick up those colors.
I'm also going in with a base to really make those colors pop. I'm using my Sedona Lace Universal Blender Brush along with the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color and Coral Reef. As you can see, it's a really gorgeous orange cream color base. It doesn't have any shimmer to it, but you definitely want to work with it quickly because it does dry quite quick. Okay, now we can really get into the eyeshadow. I'm using the Sedona Lace Universal Blender Brush again, along with an orange eyeshadow from their 168 Pro Full Color Eyeshadow Palette. It's a matte orange, and for the color to really pick up and get to its full potential, I wanted to put that base underneath. So it's gonna look sloppy at first, but trust me, it's all gonna come together in the end. It always does, right? Y'all know the makeup process is crazy and it looks cray cray, but you gotta keep it till the end so you can really see like how your look looks. When you get the eyeliner on and the mascara and the lashes, it's just like, okay, I love it. All right, let's tone down that orange eyeshadow a little bit with the Sedona Lace Tapered Blending Brush along with a light brown from their 28 Neutral Palette. We're going to apply this into the crease area to define the crease a bit and also to blend out that orange. Next, I'm taking my Sedona Lease Large Shader Brush and also this light beige color. It is a matte eyeshadow from my 168 Pro Full Color Eyeshadow Palette from Sedona Lace, of course, and I'm applying this right underneath the brow to serve as a highlight. So I want to define the crease a tad bit more. I'm using the Sedona Lace Pointed Crease Brush because it does better detailed work than a more fluffy brush. And I'm using the same eyeshadow palette I've been using. I'm using that dark matte brown and I'm going into my actual crease now and darkening it up just a little bit. Y'all know how I love my winged eyeliner. I'm using the Sedona Lace Bent Liner Brush along with their Eyeliner Gel and Blackout, which is really great. It goes on very smooth. And yeah, you can see me applying my winged liner. Applying winged liner on camera is like so hard because it's like the way that I like to look in the mirror, I can't do while I'm filming. So sometimes I have to go off camera and fix it, but that's just a secret between us, okay? So I've been enjoying stocking eyelashes lately and I don't remember what styles these two lashes are that I stack together. So I'm so sorry, but they're both like wispy kind of lashes. So if you want to apply two wispy lashes together, you'll get something like this.
Now it's time to blend my natural lashes with the false ones. I'm using the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Mascara. Now for the fun part, let's get that bright under eye concealer going. I'm using the Sedona Lace 20 color camouflage concealer palette with my Beauty Blender sponge. This is the pro one, the black one, but I'm using the same concealer that I use to clean up underneath my brows. It's a little light, but y'all know how I love my bright under eye concealer. So if you don't like light concealer under the eye, you can skip this step or use something closer to your skin tone. Now it's time to set that under eye concealer with the Eve Pearl HD Dual Press Powder in Tan. And I'm using a combination of those two shades underneath the eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, above my Cupid's bow, and also on my chin. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Sedona Lace Synthetic Angled Flat Top Brush and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in Cocoa. I really love this powder. As you can see, I've definitely hit pan on it. I have to get a new one, but I'm pressing this into the skin. It really keeps me matte all day and I'm a very oily person. So I highly recommend you check out this powder because this is very affordable. Now it's time to add that bright blue underneath the bottom lash line. I'm using the Sedona Lace Concealer Brush along with the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in Azure. Now it's time to set that cream color in place. I'm using the Sedona Lace Large Shader Brush along with a shimmery blue color from their 168 Pro Full Color Eyeshadow Palette. I love this color, it's so pretty. Now I'm going to define my eyes a bit more with the Urban Decay Liner in Perversion. It's just a black eyeliner and it stays in place all day. Y'all know how I love my bronzer. I'm using the Sedona Lace Synthetic Large Angle Contour Brush. I love this for applying bronzer. And my CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. And I'm going into my cheekbone area and also my forehead. That's the only place that I contour since I have a round face. Now it's time to add that glow to the skin. I'm using the Sedona Lace Dome Contour Brush along with my Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Opal. I love both this brush and this highlighter. Amazing combination. Now it's time to apply blush. I'm using the Sedona Lace Synthetic Rounded Powder Brush and their 10 Blush Palette. I'm using this nice coral color from the palette. I love this blush. It's amazing. As you will see when I apply it on the cheeks, it just gives me like a nice sun-kissed look, which I love.
No look is complete without mascara on my bottom lashes. I love applying mascara to my bottom lashes. So that's what I'm doing right now. I kind of OD on that, but whatever. I was so confused about what lip color I was gonna do right now, but y'all help me on Instagram. So I'm going in with the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice, which is just a really nice, kind of corally brown color. So a lot of you suggested that I do a nude lip, but I really wanted to do something fun for summer. So I went with a coral lip, and I think it goes great with this lip. It's a lot of color, but it's like really pretty all together. Anyways, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Melon. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs it up and I will be sure to catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.